It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Without like generalizing too much, can you give us like the nuts and the bolts of the program? What's the duration of it? What are the the um, the cadence or whatever of it? Like how often are they getting coaching, and what's the the focus of that coaching? Just for anybody that's curious on what the program entails. Yeah, sure. So let, let me tell you kind of the purpose of the program first, because yeah. for me, you know, I told you I, I moved down there and then we started this lighting business. And I, I was like, I mean, I'm an MBA. <laughs> How hard can this be? Well, it's hard. You know, <laughs> as you know, your first business is the hardest one. And so you're figuring out all sorts of stuff that you don't know and you're trying things and everything else. And I had some really cool things happen and I had some really crappy things happen and wasted you know, my worst uh, financial mistake was spending $20,000 on an ad campaign that literally got me nothing. I mean, just, I would have much rather get 20,000 in twenties and just burn them on like Facebook live or something. That would can have I, gotten uh, more. Can I rub something in? Because yeah. last year I had my worst marketing deal and it was $20,000, but I got four clients for it. And the average, the average job size of those clients is like 500 bucks. So I got $2,000 of revenue for my $20,000 mistake. Dude, I, I would, I would take that deal. <laughs> oh man. It was like, oh, yeah, let's, uh, we're going to unplug that one now. Uh, throw that one out back and shoot it. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks that that happens, you know? So I had, had a lot of stuff like that. And, and honestly, fortunately I was in a, a position cash flow wise where that didn't put me out. You know, mm -hmm. uh, most businesses don't have that kind of money where, they're like, it's like, if this doesn't work, uh, we're gonna have to close up shop, you know? Um, but throughout that process, I started reading books. I started getting mentors. I started really trying to work on myself, on my business, because I realized like, I don't want to do this forever. I mean, it's mm -hmm. as fun as it is installing lights and designing and selling and doing demos. And sometimes you're out till one in the morning or something like mm -hmm. at first it's fun. Right. But after a while you're like, is this the American dream? Like, am I really an entrepreneur? Like this kind of sucks. You know, I'm yeah, it, a it turns into a bit of a obligation and a job after a while. It gets, yeah. gets a little stale. That's, that's what happened to me, you know? And I feel like that almost happens to everybody. And, uh, I decided that it came down to a few different things. And, um, not only that was happening to me, but my other friends that were business owners is like you, I would hear myself say, and them say, well, I can't afford to hire a uh, sales guy, or I can't afford to hire an office manager. Or I can't afford to do this or expand, or I can't afford. And it's like, what, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean you can't afford? These aren't expenses. These are investments, you know, mm -hmm. but when you're running so thin and when I, when I say running thin, usually you're paying yourself, but there's not a lot extra in the business. Yeah. It's hard to make those decisions. And so mm -hmm. the, my, my biggest thing with my pro, my coaching program is helping people increase their profits. And I say double their profits, but it just depends on where they're at. I mean, some, some people aren't making hardly anything. So, you know, two times zero is still zero, but yeah. um, I'll have to put that in a spreadsheet to verify it later, but I, I believe you. Yeah. You, you would be the guy. So I don't know, R run some, some numbers and some algorithms and stuff and, and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, profitability, man, I feel like 99% of the businesses out there um, are not making enough money. And that's mm -hmm. what it came down to. So my big message is like, let me help you increase your profits. And it's not so that you can be greedy. If you, it's not, you don't have to buy a Lambo or anything like that. Like you can do what you want with it. You can give it back to your employees. You can give it back to your customers, but it should, it should be, you know, deliver your, it, it will help you grow because now you can afford to hire mm -hmm. your office manager, afford to hire a salesperson, afford to replace yourself and afford to deliver the red carpet, white glove service to your clients which is going to get more referrals and, and scale your business. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. How, uh, so in the coaching, is it weekly stuff, monthly stuff? Is it a long-term program or like a short-term program? How's the, what's the structure of it? Yeah. So the structure is it's a 12 month program. Um, and there's kind of three different elements to it. Uh, the first is an online training, uh, portal that I built. So, and again, this is all based on, the success of my coach who coaches all sorts of people, business coaches, life coaches, physical fit coaches. I don't even know if that's a thing, but um, why can't I think Body coaches? Means. I think I need one of those. Yeah. So they, they um, probably would like my two beer per exercise accrual system. <laughs> is that what it is? I don't <laughs> know. You, maybe you should become a coach for that, you know? 
I'm all about building something that's long term sustainable. I don't I don't <laughs> want to I can't cut the cold turkey. I just gotta find a sweet spot. Anyway, carry yeah, on. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> well, so uh on online training platform that there's I don't know how many hours, a ton of hours of stuff in there that people can go through at their own pace. So mm -hmm. it's light, lighting fundamentals. So someone that's new, it's like it literally takes them to what is landscape lighting? How does it work? What's the you know, what how does the terminology work? How to install it, how to design it, what fixtures to use. Um, all the basic stuff that you need to know so that you have confidence to go tell your wife that you're going to install at your own house, you know, or mm -hmm. your husband, and then to tell your that, neighbor. That's the toughest right. customer. That's the toughest customer. <laughs> right. So it, it just gets you that comfort level, teaches you how to do it. And for the guys who already have experience, the other reason I developed it was because I remember every time I would hire someone, Let's face it, whether it's an office manager or salesperson or installer, you're not hiring someone that has a resume. It's like, oh, eight years landscape lighting experience. You know, you're going to fit right in. Like they, they don't know what landscape lighting is either. So you can send them right through this training mm -hmm. and uh, it, it gets them up to speed with everything. And now my face is getting like really, really bright. <laughs> it's good. It, it looks like you're getting plenty of vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> I got, like, the, the, the sun's setting here. Uh, nice. But anyway, it's, so it has long been set here. Eh, maybe not long been, but long enough. It's it's a dreary, dark, you know, black bear type of day outside. <laughs> See if I can move. All right. So anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to help me look any better. Uh, <laughs> it starts with lighting fundamentals. It takes them through uh, pricing and not just pricing, but how to raise their price to top dollar. And that's like, you know, I, I get people that, to, to price their average lighting system at like 400 bucks a light. Mm -hmm. So when you do the math on that, an average system is maybe 20 lights, you know? I mean, eight grand to go install 20 lights and you can do that in a day. That's that's not bad, you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. why I decided to do lighting instead of windows. <laughs> so takes them through pricing, takes them through sales, and I give them my sales presentation. They can just download it, put their logo in it, and it's ready to go. So some of this stuff is like, Hey, listen and learn. But a lot of it is action items. Here's, here's, you watch this video. Here's what to do. Don't do this until you move on to the next thing. Because mm -hmm. I could write a book and people could read it and be like, oh, that's, that's, he's a nice guy. I like that. But it's not like, it's not going to help you implement. You know what I mean? So I'm yep. big on implementation. So try to make that nice. super easy. We do lead generation stuff in there, all sorts of strategies. The main purpose of the content portal is help them increase their price, increase their closing rate and increase their number of quality leads so that when they get in front of someone, it's someone who's actually ready to buy, not someone who's looking to get a quote. You know? mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the, the content portal is the main thing. After that, there's a private Facebook group and a weekly uh, group call. So it's a group coaching platform. Um, and those two things, the private Facebook group and the weekly call are great because they're not only getting my input. Like if they have a question about their business, like, hey, I'm trying to hire someone, what should I do? They're going to get input from other business owners around the U.S. who've already gone through that as well. So mm -hmm. I've never been one to say, like, I have all the answers or all my answers are the only way. Like, there's a lot of different ways to do things, right? So I'll give them my perspective. Someone else will give them theirs, and then they can make a hybrid or they can choose the other guys or mine or whatever, you know? Yep. So yeah, yeah, works out really good. Awesome, awesome.